I'd like, I'd like to win the Mayan Academy. Academy. It's, a it's a beautiful work, work of art. art. Ah, Mr. Holmes, are you ready to begin the final game? Yes. yes. Let's start the final. Thank you. 
Congratulations, Congratulations on your game, game team. Exceptional. Exception. The award ceremony will be tomorrow morning. See you then See you to receive, receive your prize of the calendar. calendar. I trust you will be there as well, Dr. Watson. Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Due to your calls. Ah, what a pity. Let's go home. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. What a dream. Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? It's very kind of you, but I decided that Caitlin should stop playing the piano. Oh, Father! Why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbors. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. Thank you, Miss Alice.
that who did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue's spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. At your service, Mr. Holmes. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. Scratches on the stone. You're still here. You're still here. Scratches on the stone. Pieces from the pedestal. A piece of the statue's mounting rod. Traces of metal on stone. The iron mounting rod is broken. Traces of metal on stone. The surface is damaged. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal.
Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. If I believed Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Zacharias's folder with some documents. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. The case is scratched and dented. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Money was left inside the wallet. Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. All valuables were left on the victim. Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud, metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it, I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. You saw the statue running? It was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. 
Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... was a club member and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. So, Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Is the calendar valuable? Uh, not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. You're still here. The statue of Takun Umar. The surface is damaged. Traces of metal on stone. The iron mounting rod is broken. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. And what about the statue? No idea yet. I imagine the thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right. So there were thieves, and they were very well equipped? Yes, must have been. 
Then there's also Sir Charles's version, but, uh... Please, go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away. <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Absurd, more like. Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar and killed by the spear from Takunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant? My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. <laughs> Indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. Here it is.
Thank you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. Release him, please. He's not guilty. Calm down, dear. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Tissot watch, Swiss, 1855. An ordinary pencil. Money was left inside the wallet. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a clue. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message.
Cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. It's not only a calendar, it's a curse. Looks like a serious infection. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. These scars are old. We'll need to get a search warrant to investigate the club. Mr. Holmes. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no.
Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Uh, nothing dishonorable happened. Go on, then. Take your warrant. So, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh, no. I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear. Why won't the police say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Horrible. Do you think the club will be closed? Zacharias Greystoke. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. I wonder who this man is. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank.
A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. The 50th birthday of Lord Stevenson. Charles Yellingham has a large family. The late Mr. Roberts collection. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. The late Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. These antiques look quite valuable. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. This metal globe is very impressive. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, well, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death.
wonder who this man is. Zacharias Greystoke. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. in the photograph is there anything I can do to help look here there's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph a dispute of some kind you think Watson possibly but it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America South America brilliant Watson happy to help is it deadly well there is a chance he survived I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's a terrible Mr. thing. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh. Not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk.
horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles' stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years? Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that he could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how? What's your opinion on Takun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Tekun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Uman. Well, goodbye then. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takuni Man.
Fresh scratches. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takunu Mart. Oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Caitlin's up, Miss Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... I can't help myself. I must open this letter. It would be easier to open this letter if I steam it. Let's prepare. Boil water in kettle. I need to turn on the gas burner first. to open it with something sharp. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. I need something to apply the glue. That's it. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony.
about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice, come back in. I can do it. See? <laughs> You're wonderful. I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him, but you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Watson, stay alert, and you'll need to be quiet. This door is securely locked. I must find another way in. Something is dropping. I'll move it in this direction.
Watson, I need your help. Balcony doors open. Can't move it in that direction.
Watson, I need your help.
Watson, I need your help. No, this lever won't help. I'm here. Can you let me in? We need to hurry and find out what Mr. Marley is hiding. Obviously for a dagger, mine.
I'll need a dagger to work the mechanism. This blank has too many defects. I'll need to start again. Dagger fits. There's a recurring theme that connects all of these sculptures. Marley is obviously an avid student of mechanics. Another statue of Takun Uman. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. It's closed. Hmm, locked. It's shut tight. Thank you. 
It seems you found the key to the safe. It's shut tight. piece of a map in metal. This object evidently connects to something else. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune.
The statue is in three parts. Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. 